Let's take a look at what's included with your T-Grip Max set. You have the T-Grip Max bar, which is the main component included with your set. The door anchor is a soft foam material that will not damage your door frame or door. The resistance bands, equipped to provide multiple levels of resistance, from very light, which is the yellow band, medium with the green band, and heavy with the red band. The bands can be used individually or combined for the heavier resistance. The indication of pounds is only an estimated measure of resistance. The foot straps, which are used for freestanding exercises when not attached to the upper or lower door anchor. The fitness and nutrition guide is your introduction to the basics of resistance training and a healthier diet. The workout poster has images and descriptions that show you how to perform some of the exercises properly. And the travel bag, so you can take your T-Grip Max anywhere. Setting up the T-Grip Max for exercises using the door anchor. Slip your door anchor under the door. Close the door, make sure there is no more than a one inch gap between the bottom of the door and the floor, pull firmly on the anchor, making sure it's secure. Insert one end of the resistance band through the loop of the door anchor. Then connect both clips to the metal ring of the T-Grip Max Bar. For the top, put the door anchor over the top of the door and close the door. Pull firmly on the anchor, making sure it's secure. Put one end of a band through the loop of the anchor. Then clip both ends of the band to the center ring of the bar. Always be sure the door is secure by pulling firmly on the doorknob without turning the knob. Here are a few hand grip options you have with the T-Grip Max handle. Inside grip with palms down. Inside grip palms up. Outside parallel grip. Overhand grip. Straight grip, palms down. And the alternating grips. Let's go through some of the basic exercises using the T-Grip Max with bands anchored on top. This exercise is the high row, also known as a lat pull down. Grasp the bar on the outside grips. Slightly lean back until you have tension on the band. Then pull the bar back towards your upper chest, bringing your elbows back and squeezing your shoulder blades together. Always keep your shoulders back and have a good stance with one foot forward and one back. This is the triceps pushdown. Facing the door, grasp the T-grip handle with both hands on the inside grip, with palms facing down. Position your elbows at a 90 degree angle. Take a step back to get slight tension on the bands. Extend both arms straight down, keeping your elbows at your sides throughout the complete motion. The triceps pushdown using the outside parallel grip is the same exercise as the last, but using the outside grip. Be sure to hold the resistance when following your way back up. Another triceps exercise that you can perform using an underhand grip. This is a reverse triceps pulldown. This is the triceps pushdown using the overhand grip. This hand grip option works well for users that may suffer from mobility problems in their wrists. Triceps pushdown using the inside straight grip is another grip option for triceps pushdowns. There are so many grip options to use comfortably and effectively to hit every muscle from multiple angles.
anchored to the top is one of the ways you can perform bicep curls. Grasp the bar using the inside grip with palms up. Start with your arms extended out and take a step back until you have slight tension on the band. You can also perform your biceps curls using this underhand grip. This grip option is good for isolating the muscles without needing to fully grasp the bar or have the tension on your wrists. And the outside parallel grip for biceps curls. Remember to focus on keeping your elbows up as you curl the bar towards your head. You should utilize each one of these grip options. Simple changes of hand positions will add a noticeable difference with your training and workouts. Torso twists. This exercise strengthens the core. Grasp the T-grip handle with an alternate grip. Standing sideways with either shoulder nearer to the door and feet shoulder width apart, start by pulling the handle from the top across your body down towards the floor as you twist using your core. Exercising with the T-grip max with bands attached to the lower anchor. Biceps curl. Grasp the T-grip handle on the inside with palms facing up. Step back until you have constant resistance on the bands, with arms fully extended out, with elbows at your sides. Curl the bar up towards your chin while bending your elbows and keeping them slightly forward. Then slowly release, holding the resistance as you go back down to the starting point. Keep your wrists straight throughout the movement. Do not arch back when curling the bar upward. Hammer curls are performed using the outside parallel grip. Keep in mind when you're doing curls or any exercise to focus on your form. If you feel like you have poor form or it doesn't feel right, then lower the resistance level until you can perform each exercise correctly. Bicep curls with the underhand grip is a good way to fully isolate the biceps. Some users feel that performing curls with the underhand grip enables more focus on the biceps without having your forearms and wrists get fatigued. Lower row for training your back muscles. Grasp the T-grip handle on the outside parallel grips. Slightly bend your knees and lean forward with arms extended out. Take a step back to get tension on the band. Pull the bar toward your chest by bending your elbows and squeezing your shoulder blades together with arms growing backwards. Release slowly as you hold the resistance back to the starting point. Front raise. Stand facing the door with feet shoulder width apart. Grasp the T-grip bar using the outside grip. Step back until you have slight tension on the bands. Keep your arms straight while raising the bar up in front of you to about eye level. Slowly lower while holding the resistance and follow back to the starting position. The shoulder press. Stand facing the door grasping the T-grip max bar on the outside grips with palms facing each other. Start by curling the bar upward to chest level with tension on the bands. Push the bar up over your head until your elbows are almost straight. Slowly follow back down to the starting point while holding the resistance.
using the T-grip max with foot straps. Slip one end of the band through the center loop on the T-grip handle. Slip both the Velcro foot straps on your feet. Render the straps around until you have the metal rings towards the outsides of your feet. Then pull firmly on the strap and fasten the Velcro together. Then clip each end of the band to the metal rings on the foot straps. The key with combinations is to focus on being in sync as you perform each repetition. Jump squats with a press is an exercise you perform using the bands attached to the foot straps. Hold the bar on the outside parallel grip. Start with the bar up in front of you at about shoulder level. Squat down and then jump up from out of the squat while pressing the bar at the same time. Squat with a front raise. Hold the T-grip bar on the outside grips. Keep your arms extended straight out in front of you at about waist level with slight tension on the band. Lunge with a bicep curl. Hold the T-grip bar using the inside grip with palms up. Put one foot forward and one foot back as you step into your forward lunge, curl the bar up at the same time. The bicycle is for strengthening the core. Lying on your back with your knees up and your legs bent, hold the T-grip max by your head. Extend one leg forward while bringing the opposite leg back. At the same time, you will twist your torso as you cross the right elbow to your left knee and your left elbow to your right knee. For additional workouts and DVDs, please visit us at tgripmax.com and tgrip.com. Come join our social networks and affiliates. See you there.